The origins of the grid method or system are unknown, but it has been used throughout art history by the greats like Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent van Gogh. The grid method is an easy and cheap way to reproduce and or enlarge an image. It is a time consuming process depending on how large and detailed you want your artwork to be. By using the grid method, you can get accurate measurements, proportions and position of the subject matter. The grid method is done by drawing a grid of squares over your reference photo and on your drawing paper of equal ratio, one is to one. Then you draw the image on your paper by focusing on one square at a time and replicating what you see in each square. Once you have drawn the outline of the subject and whatever details you need, you can erase the grid lines or cover them with the media you are using like paint, graphite or charcoal. Then you start to shade or paint. We start by drawing a grid with a ruler and pencil over the reference image. If it's a digital photo, use a grid placing application on your computer, phone or tablet. The size and number of squares will depend on how detailed you want to get. You can draw a 1 cm square, 1 inch square or multiple of either centimeters or inches. Please remember to draw very lightly as the grid lines will need to be erased or covered up with the medium. On the drawing paper, you will draw a grid either identical to the one on the photograph that is in terms of size and numbers of squares if you want to draw the same size image. For example, if you have a photograph and the grid on it is 1 inch per square and it is 7 by 10 inches, then you will draw a grid on your drawing paper which is 1 inch per square which is 7 by 10 inches. But if you want to enlarge the drawing, then you will draw the same number of squares. The only thing that will change is instead of 1 inch squares, you will draw 2 inch squares or 3 inch squares depending on how much you would like to enlarge your drawing. If you wish to draw more details and need the support of the grid, then you can double the number of squares and adjust the size accordingly. You can also label your grids with alphabets and numbers on both the grids on your photograph and your drawing. The key to using the grid method successfully is to be objective and to draw what you see in a particular grid square as closely and as accurately as possible. Now we start drawing one square at a time. Draw the outline of the subject one square at a time and if you wish you can add other details within the silhouette as well as the shadow line. Continue this process and after you have gone through all the squares you have your image ready to shade or paint. For your assignment, you will draw a simple still life of your choice using the grid method. If you have got any value from this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more.